A drought is not a negative effect for all animal species. Different species experience a drought differently. One of our species or um, our predator groups, they scavengers, they love a drought. They are doing very well in a drought. So I think we also need to get the message across that our animal population are not affected equally across the range. Uh, I was asked a question, which animals are most affected? We would think that our grazers are most affected, our bulk grazers, and we've seen that in the buffalo population. They are really affected during the drought. But then our mixed feeders may be less likely. Uh, animals such as impala and kudu, um, sorry, kudu, yeah. So we need to really look at a, grout, a drought and the effects they have on the animal population, not as a homogeneous effect, not just one effect. It affects each species very differently. Now you can't talk about droughts without looking at our water points. Because that is a big concern with um, our tourists and the public out there saying that we need to provide more water for our animals because of the drought. But we've gone through a process in the Kruger National Park where we're trying to, you can see the accumulation of our water points in the park historically, but then from about 1994-95 we started decreasing the number of artificial water points in the park. And that's because we started looking at the system holistically and not just to provide water for animals. And we've been through that process, so this drought is actually going to help us understand how that particular management action has been playing out. So when we looked at, once again, vegetation at our open and closed, by, uh, open and closed water points, you can see the biomass. And biomass I talk about is available forage, how much food there is for our herbivores. So biomass was a lot less in the open water points than in our closed water points. Not only biomass, the amount of forage, we looked at the types of grasses, whether it's good or bad grasses, palatable or unpalatable grasses. And we talk about in terms of decrease or increase of species. When we look at the good grasses, which is our decrease of species, they are a lot less in our open water holes than our closed water holes. So that has consequences for the game population.